Hello guys, today we'll be learning about Prim's algorithm. So this is the graph which is provided to us. Now if you see this graph, this graph is an undirected graph. That means there is no arrows given here. If there was an arrow, that was a directed graph. This is an undirected graph. So here if you see 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, these are your nodes. And like 1, 2, 2, 2, 2, 3, these are called edges. So uh, to find Prim's algorithm, the first thing you need to do is the cost matrix table so you need to convert this graph into cost matrix table to find the distance from one vertex to the other vertex and now we will fill this cost matrix table see 1 to 1 it is by itself so I will give the value here as 0 2 to 2 the value will be 0 3 to 3 the value will be 0 same thing happens so diagonals all will be 0 now from 1 to 2 and 2 to 1 the cost is going to be 11 because this is an undirected graph so 1 to 2 and 2 to 1 the cost is 11 now 1 to 3 so 1 to 3 the cost is 9 and 3 to 1 the cost will be 9 so this is how you need to fill all the cost matrix table with the help of this graph so 1 to 4 it's 7 and 4 to 1 it is 7 1 to 5 it is 8 and 5 to 1 is also 8 so similarly all this cost matrix tables the values are been filled now let us start solving Sprint's algorithm the first thing is you need to write steps then visited nodes unvisited nodes Then minimum cost and then spanning tree. Now the first step is that initially I am not visiting any nodes. So my unvisited nodes will be 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 because I have 5 nodes over here. So these are my unvisited nodes and my minimum cost is nothing because I haven't visited any of the nodes and the spanning tree will be 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So this spanning tree I am drawing according to this graph. So now let me uh, give a name to the visited node as A and unvisited as B. So I need to find this minimum cost of A to B. So now step 2. So first I will visit the first node. So let me take that I am visiting the first node. So unvisited nodes will be 2, 3, 4 and 5. So now what I have to do is I need to find the minimum cost of A to B. The visited nodes as well as the unvisited nodes. So I will find like minimum of. So here if you see it's 1 comma 2. Then 1 comma 3. 1 4 and 1 comma 5 so I have done uh, like A to B so we visited nodes and unvisited nodes so now I need to find out their values like 1 to 2 what is the value so if you see in this cost matrix table 1 to 2 the value is 11 so I'll write here 11 1 to 3 it's 9 1 to 4 it's 7 and 1 to 5 it's 8 now among these values you need to find out which is the minimum value so if we see in this value 7 is the minimum so 7 is in third position so if we see on top which one is in third position 1 2 3 so this is in third position that is 1 comma 4 the value is 7 so you need to draw the uh, spanning tree from 1 to 4 so you need to connect an arrow between 1 to 4 so this means that you are visiting the fourth node now and what is the cost the cost is 7 so now if you see in the spanning tree you have visited the first node and the second node so now in the step 3 what are the visited nodes visited nodes are 1 and 4 the unvisited nodes are 2 3 and 5 so now you need to find the minimum value of these visited and unvisited nodes now from 1 to 4 then 1 to 3 then 1 to 5 next is 4 comma 2 
4 comma 3 4 comma 5 now what you have to do is find out their values so 1 2 2 the value is 11 1 2 3 it's 9 then 1 2 5 it's 8 then 4 2 2 it's 14 4 2 3 is 12 4 2 5 is 6 so now you need to find out which is the minimum among these so if I see minimum is 6 so 6 is in the last position so last position is this one 4 comma 5 and its value is 6 so now what you have to do is bring the spanning tree same down 1 to 4 if you see here it is 4 comma 5 so this means that from fourth node you need to connect it to the fifth node so this is how you need to do so from 1 to 4 the cost is 7 now 4 to 5 it's 6 so what are the nodes you have visited now you have visited 1 4 and 5 so let's start the next step so the visited nodes are 1 4 and 5 unvisited are 2 and 3 so now I need to find their minimum values now it's 1 comma 2 1 comma 3 then 4 comma 2 4 comma 3 then 5 comma 2 5 comma 3 now their cost from 1 to 2 it's 11 now from 1 to 3 9 now 4 to 2 14 4 to 3 12 5 to 2 13 5 to 3 14 so now you need to find out which is the minimum value among these so if I see the minimum value is 9 so this is in the second position so the second position what is the edges 1 comma 3 so 1 comma 3 with the value 9 so now I will just draw the spanning tree down same as it is what is the above one so now if you see here the edge says that from 1 comma 3 so this means that from node 1 you need to uh, draw a node to third one so now if you see you have visited four nodes that is 1 4 5 and 3 so in the next step you will write that you have visited node 1 node 4 node 5 and node 3 now unvisited is only left as that is 2 so now you need to find the minimum cost of 2 let's find the minimum value that now 1 comma 2 the next 4 comma 2 next 5 comma 2 and then 3 comma 2 so what are their values 1 to 2 it's 11 4 to 2 it's 14 5 to 2 it's 13 and then 3 to 2 it's 15 so if you see which is the minimum value in this 11 is the minimum value with the edge 1 comma 2 so 1 comma 2 is the edge and the value is 11 so I bring the spanning tree whatever above it's there same thing and now if you see it's 1 comma 2 so from node 1 I should connect an arrow to node 2 so what are the cost so you have to bring it down the same cost and 1 to 2 the cost is 11 so now your sixth step so you have visited all of the nodes that is 1 4 5 3 and 2 there is nothing to unvisit now so you need to find your total cost to visit all the nodes is all of these values so that is 6 plus 7 plus 9 plus 11 so that is equal to 33 so you have found out uh, the values so the total cost is 33 so this is how you solve prims algorithm thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share thank you